dizzy now. This might be a bad idea. I really hope this turns out, but I have a feeling this could be a fail video. Hey, best pally, I'm Allie, and a very large percentage of you asked me to do an uplifting song in the style of Billie Eilish. And I'm gonna give the people what they want. And if you're one of the people that commented this suggestion, I'm talking directly to you. Thank you. Specifically, your comment is the reason that I decided to do this. And what song will I be transforming? You already know. You saw it in the title. It's Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, because I have a death wish? This might kill me. And how appropriate for Billy that I'm already being morbid. This song is epic and like 17 songs in one, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut it down. I'm sorry to everyone that's like, you took out the best part. I know. It's all the best part. Is this the real life? No, it's YouTube. Reality. I think I've got it decently chopped up to two minutes somehow. I got it cut down so that I still have each section that's just condensed and still gonna be probably impossible. Now I gotta figure out a tempo. Like a ton of different tempos. In a it's very loose. Oh! <laughs> There's a time signature change. Okay, great. Now I gotta put in a 5-4 section. You just put in an extra beat. Like, if I'm conducting 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes caught in a landslide. No escape from... Thanks for the bonus beat. This is gonna be tough. Ah, they mess with it again later, too, I remember. This time it's a two measure. It goes like, one, two, three. Mamma mia, let me go. BL's above. Okay, how do I describe this? You're a dog, and you're walking around on four legs, and everything's fine, and then suddenly your two front legs just disappeared, and you stumble around for a measure, and then suddenly they're back. Okay, that was maybe helpful. This exact same thing is in Hey Ya. You're just going along four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, huh? Huh? Nobody cares. Okay, I digress. We got some time signature changes. Now we got tempo changes. Hey, retard. Nobody get mad at me in the comments. That is Italian for it to gradually slow down. So more difficulties having to retardando out of the rock part. I haven't even started yet. This is just me complaining about how hard this already is. I'm gonna start with the iconic opening piano. I, I don't have enough piano. I gotta take this to the big boy, plus I need a pedal. Really, as a pianist, it's very exciting when you get to cross your hands over, like, look at me. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. Now let's give it a Billy voice. Woohoo, spooky already. Yes, that's the bad guy synth that I had from the past video. <laughs> so I'm starting with bad guy because I'm very familiar. I've already broken that one down. We got a kick. That's the several severed hands snapping at once. We got a shaker in here. And her super smooth bass. It's just missing one thing. There's this really fast ticking that like keeps it driving. And I want to use like auxiliary percussion, but it doesn't sound like an instrument. Ooh, on burn? She uses... Okay. That's a lighter. I need, I need another instrument. And I didn't own a lighter. Why would I have to burn things? I think I got what I needed. Yeah! The next section I'm gonna tackle is the opera. I see a little silhouette of a man's got a moose. <laughs> I wanna use a different song for this. And the perfect contrast has gotta be Bury a Friend. I wanna end me. You know, it's funny because earlier I have to sing, I don't wanna die. God, this song's so good though. Ah, oh. mm. It's driving and dark and also swung. Wait, what? I didn't even think about it until I started analyzing this, but this is a swung song. Like I was joking about with Megan Trainer in the last one. It's like, it's a shuffle. It's like, ba, 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 but so dark. So I'm gonna start with a shuffly kick. Bass. Why is her snare? It sounds like hitting wood or something. Now I'm gonna need various terrifying sound effects. Looks <laughs> like a scream in there. Let me just make a scream. I took a piece of this long sample and pitched it all around and then it kind of goes up at the end so it's eh. like when you're sitting there minding your own business and then you see a spider. Wow. Oh, wait. Security keep 
There's also like a drill going on in there. Let's find, let's make a drill. It's so cool. This part is just like awesomely rhythmic and everything drops out and comes back and just like <laughs> moves you. There's altered a ray gun a little. Eh? Anybody want to go to the dentist? What I really need is just like this death drop when she's falling. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do a lot of stops and starts in this section. That's really gonna make it. Got a killer tom. And now what I want to do is get rid of the tom part and only use the reverb, basically. Whoa. See how it fits together now that I've chopped it up. A huge part of her style is like this growling. I'm gonna do a lot of growling. No, I have to make something that pulse in and out. <laughs> this section's gonna be killer. I also should be thinking harder about how I'm gonna sing over this. Nope, that's a later problem. I'm gonna make a few more growly things. And generally just a million things going on in this song where they just come in and out from the different sides and different sounds And so the more I can add that just like comes at you and disappears the better oh. I see a little silhouette <laughs> Okay, the next section is the chorus. Just hear how this goes on the original Oh, I have goosebumps such a good song. Ooh, dizzy now. This might be a bad idea. I really hope this turns out, but I have a feeling this could be a fail video where I'm just like, look at this terrible idea I had and I just crapped all over two great artists. But I'm in it now. Okay, chorus time. No question the chorus needs to be You Should See Me in a Crown. More growling. What really makes this one is the bass that's just laying underneath it and you don't even realize it's there, just like shaking your whole self and then it disappears and you're like, what happened? And then it comes back. <laughs> I don't think I can make this in one synth, so I'm gonna do a couple layered. That's just like really deep. And then above it I want, oh, system overload. Already too many tracks. Okay. Oh yeah, and technically this section is in 12-8, but I'm doing it in 4-4 because that's what Billy's song is in, and then also it's a little easier for me to translate. Sorry. It's sounding a lot like Billy, but the headbanging is missing. I I need guitar. I just need. I gotta do. It. While we're here, there is an epic solo earlier that transitions bad guy to the, the opera. So let's let's put that in. get out of the chorus. By the way, I'm not just figuring this out myself. It would have taken entirely too long. I got the sheet music. Let's hear it. It's system overload instead. Come on, laptop, you can handle queen. <laughs> it's just missing one thing from the original queen track. This driving symbol. This Garth crashing through. And I could just, you know, let me just add that on here. Do it with my keyboard. It'd be completely unnecessary to go to the drums for this. Now all that's left are the intro and outro. Ooh, -hoo! bad guy has an outro. It's so different from the rest of the song. I guess I'm pretty glad. Ooh. So electro hi hat and snare and a growly bass. We've already got all that. And it's funny because the original is so really light. And lovely. And I will be speaking through it. Also, the intro is light and lovely. Is this the real life? It's just acapella and harmonies, which actually fits Billy really well. I'm gonna open with when the party's over. Oh. oh, that's killer. It'll be perfect for this. It'll just be me singing. Actually, vocals is gonna be a huge part of all of this. Billy's vocals are just complex and layered and multi effect And a lot of the times it sounds like she's right next to your face. This is where the singing is happening. So I'll be singing a lot of the same things over and over again in different octaves and harmonies and spoken and whispered. And then just like panned around and she also growls in her voice. It shows up a ton of times in her songs where she'll chop up the vocals so it sounds like here. That's right. I'm the bad guy. I absolutely need to do that. To either chop up the waveform 
repeatedly. Or figure out how to do it with an effect. I don't know how, though. It's kind of like vibrato. Okay, I did some experimenting. Let's see if I can do this without getting too much feedback and show you. I think what she's doing is tremolo here. Check it out. I set it to completely drop out the volume and even intervals. I'm the bad guy. This is sick. What's up? I want one of these all the time. Hey, best Valley. I'm Allie. This is how we talk from now on. And there's one more super important vocal thing that I want to point out. And bury a friend. It sounds like there's a guy singing with her, kind of in a harmony. I'm pretty sure I can pull that off, not phoning a friend, but with a vocoder. So I'm feeding my voice into this, and it won't play anything if I'm not speaking into it. But when I do... <laughs> That's cool. I think I got everything I need for the arrangement. It's just time to, f to sing and also the music video. What do I do? Okay, I've put together a concept. For the setting, it's usually minimalist, like she's in a white room. I'm gonna aim to do this in a one take. And I could like multiply myself in After Effects because I'm gonna have a bunch of voices. But, and I don't want to be you anymore, she's with a mirror, so I'm gonna do it with these three mirrors. This is a ridiculous setup. That's mine, that's my roommate's, and that's the one that was here when we moved in. Who has three mirrors and no light? The setup looks ridiculous. Let's see how this turns out. Is this the Just killed a man But now I've gone and thrown it all away Mama Ooh. I don't wanna die Sometimes wish I'd never been born at all Well, I survived. I don't know if that piece of artwork should exist, but it does now. <laughs> Apologize, Queen and Billy. And I know a lot of you are new pallies, so please consider subscribing and ringing the bell for notifications because I have a lot more outrages coming and you don't want to miss it.